Hi, Eric Gibo, Eric Gibo and today I'm going to speak to you about this. This cage, Black Mamba by Small Rig. I've got it on my Lumix S5 Mark II. I'm going to tell you why you need a cage like this when you make video, uh, the plus, the pro, uh, the, the cons, or everything about this uh, fantastic cage, the material, all this, and show you why. Uh, you probably need it okay so let's start the big problem when we make video is uh, like i show you right now uh, there is a lot of uh, accessories you're going to uh, put on the camera like a monitor or repeater tr transmitter whatever uh, or uh, simply a microphone or whatever and obviously not everything would uh, would fit on the flash uh, hot shoe or cold shoe here but in this case hot shoe and uh, the only way is to have a system like a cage uh, small rig did not invent the cage but uh, they have a very uh, good reputation about cages so when you place your camera in the cage that will let you place a lot of accessories that are small of a lot of hole to place things and uh, that will help you uh, uh, get the accessories you need around your camera to be uh, to, to be making videos okay so I'll show you how you mount it and tell you a bit more so let's see what you get in the box you get three uh, pieces if I can say that okay so let's open it here you will find a first uh, it's all, all well protected okay you will find this small uh, piece which is I would call it a cable protector when you connect on USB-C uh, connector to your camera or HDMI, uh, if you give a small uh, bang it on the side, you could break the connector. So this is to protect the connectors of your cables, okay? And, and the connectors of the camera, obviously. Then you also get, obviously, the cage is, uh, itself. That is here, okay? We can see how you mount it. And also a handle that is here the handle is to transport the camera easily if you have uh, some things on it but you can also put uh, some uh, accessories on the handle you don't have to mount it if you want don't want it okay but uh, it's really practical in many situations so let's see how you mount it the first thing you need to do is to remove the strap the camera strap if you have one uh, you can put it after the cage is placed okay but in the meanwhile you have to uh, remove it why there are several kind of cages this one is a uh, high security i would say because uh, it's not just a screw here under and uh, on the tripod mount but also it uses this uh, piece of metal here that are made for the the strap to really tight everything around your camera so that's a good point okay so when we look at the cage uh, like every small rig uh, product it comes with the tools okay here you have this part so you will be able to uh, screw this uh, in the hole for the tripod if you want to place a tripod anywhere you also have other hole here to place a tripod and then here on the side you have uh, this small piece and this small piece you have an allen key here on the other side of the, 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 the tool so you can uh, place this where the uh, strap camera strap was going so it's really tight and then after you will be able to place the strap again okay so first thing remove the strap and then we're going to mount it first thing you have to remove these two uh, pieces that says lock okay you use the allen key on this side and this one okay because we're going to need to, to place the cage where the, the strap was going and place this first okay depending on the size of your lens you may have to remove it okay Otherwise, in this case, it goes through with no problem. So you're going to place the cage this way, okay? You will see it will place easily. You take the tool here, okay? And then you're going to screw, screw this uh, in, in the hole uh, for tripod, okay? You screw it and that's it, okay? So now you're going to place the safety on the side, okay? Then you take your small pieces. Uh, they're, they're a bit different shape, but you, I, I think you will see the difference, no problem, okay? So you place it and then use the Allen key here okay and you just tight it up as, as much as you can okay and then the other one is a bit different the other one goes uh, from underneath and then okay i don't know if you can see uh, it's not easy to explain and do things at the same time okay Uh, the screw has to be almost out because this one has to slide from the bottom okay okay you just screw it this way once it's done it's like this you see this one is screwed this one is screwed here okay you can uh, keep the magnetic tool here okay underneath here that's it and then if you wanted to use a strap this one you have a strap place here okay and this one is occupied but here 
you have one here to place the straps. In case you wanted to, uh, to use a strap, you would go here and here, and that's it. That easy, no? So this is the way it looks. As you can see, there's a uh, lot of small holes everywhere, okay? And uh, it looks like this, like this. And uh, in case, uh, what you will see here, there is a small, uh, like a small uh, cold shoe here. What is it for? Well, if you want to place a microphone uh, transmitter, for example, or if you, uh, this cage is uh, for the uh, Lumix S5 Mark II and the S5 Mark II X that is not available yet, the X, but still the cage is the same, will be the same, okay? Uh, you can place here a small hard drive, uh, SSD drive, sorry, uh, if you want to record directly from uh, USB-C. And the X is uh, on Siri, and on this one, the S5 Mark II, uh, I think there is an, uh, an upgrade, a firmware upgrade you need to pay for, but you can record directly to USB-C. So a uh, small rig has a small uh, accessory to place a small uh, SSD just here, so you could place it. You have more hole here in case you wanted to uh, place uh, the holder. You, have, uh, you cannot go wrong. The biggest hole here, and you also have uh, two, a small pick to uh, center it properly. You uh, screw it this way, okay? Here you have also another cold shoe here that uh, has a safety here. Let's say here you place a, a monitor, you don't want it to fall forward, you can lock it, okay? And that's it. Uh, still, we have to show you an extra accessory here, but that's the way it looks. So now the small accessory is to lock the cable to protect the connectors. You have to open the small door here, obviously. Here you have uh, the bottom a screw, you just place it here on the cage, and then you screw it on the cage this way. Okay, okay, it's impossible to miss, okay? And then you will see you have other, two other screws, and when you actually screw, you will see that it moves forward, because it does two things. First, to uh, hold the cable, and second, to press on the connector. This way, it's really tight. You don't risk, uh, if there is a, someone that bangs the, the cable, the connector, it will not break the, uh, the, the system, okay? So it's really important you use this when you're going to connect a USB-C or an HDMI uh, connector to use this protection to make sure if there's anything that bangs on it, there's no problem. So this is the way it looks. I mean, uh, it's, for, it's, not, it's not very heavy, 300 uh, grams. That sounds heavy, but it's not. I uh, think that uh, this has to be really tight, really rigid, because uh, very often you have more weight on the cage than the camera itself, plus to uh, bear the camera also. The material is really nice. It's like matte finish, like industrial. I really love it. Here you have some rubber here, so it doesn't slip. It's really, it will not slip out of your hand. Also, I forgot to show, but there is some rubber in the, some part uh, with some rubber in the, in the, the cage itself to uh, not scratch your camera. So really nice, you have many holes everywhere. You can put a tripod here, okay, but also here if you uh, record in vertical. Also here if you don't have uh, this accessory, also here, okay. So uh, the quality is, is really amazing. You have, uh, different size hole because like different type of accessories but i must say uh, it's really really top quality oh, i really love it it's <laughs> really fantastic okay so i'm going to tell you a bit more uh, information and that's it you have an idea of the cage okay so uh there's also i forgot to say uh, a nato uh, rail i've never used it but i know this is a standard for many uh, videographer okay so you have this possibility but i would say this uh, cage is fantastic the quality is premium the touch the way it doesn't slip out of your hand really nice so uh, uh, there are many holes everywhere i love that you have two hot uh, two cold shoes sorry uh, here for i, I use it to put uh, the sound uh, the the transmitter microphone transmitter and here the uh, the monitor but you could put other things like the ssd drive or things like this many holes different sizes i think that too many holes but they are uh, this is uh, they always do that on purpose so you can actually place things exactly where you want so i think this cage is something you uh, really need if you make videos and i really recommend this one because uh, the price quality uh, uh, relation is uh, just fantastic okay so Thank you very much, Small Rig, for sending me the cage. Thank you to you for watching the video. If you feel it may interest other people, please share it on social networks. If you have not done it yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Small button on here is a small bell. If you click on the bell, get notified when I upload a new video. My website, ericgipo.com. If you have any question, you can leave a comment below. I'll also leave you links of my gear on Amazon. Links of everything are reviewed by Kev Concepts, Sandmark, and flashes by Westcott. More affiliated links, and also a link to my PayPal account in case you wanted to make a donation. 
Thank you very much. Please take care of yourself and see you soon. Bye.